टूडे आई फील दैट इफ यू हैव अ स्क्रिप्ट जिसमें यू नो एक अच्छी अनयूजल कहानी है यू डोंट एक्चुअली हैव टू हैव अ मेल हीरो एनी मोर दुश्मन में आई हैड टू हैव अ मेल हीरो संघर्ष आई हैड टू हैव अ मेल हीरो टूडे वन कैन डू विदाउट दैट दैट इज ग्रेट क्योंकि मेल हीरो को लाओगे तो कुछ तो कहानी फिर और कुछ स्क्रीन स्पेस देनी पड़ेगी उनको लव स्टोरी डालनी ही पड़ेगी और लव स्टोरी इज कम्प्लीटली यूजलेस इफ यू आज मी जरूरी नहीं कि हर प्रोटेगनिस्ट की लाइफ में लव स्टोरी हो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ द फिल्म वो आज टुडे वी हैव विद अस अ फिल्म मेकर हुज फिल्मोग्राफी इज सो प्रोलिफिक दैट मैं आज अपना नाम अम प्रोफेसर अमन वर्मा रख रहा हूँ क्योंकि वेर इज जस्ट मैं अभी मैम को बता रहा था कि दैट आई हैव सीन संघर्ष अबाउट सिक्सटी सेवन टाइम्स विच आई एम श्योर इज एन अंडर स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज उस मेरे केबल वाले को पता मैंने कितनी बार देखी है सो बिफोर वी बिगिन दिस दिस आई हैव टू टेल यू दिस बिकॉज माई माई मदर वुड बी रियली प्राउड ऑफ मी टूडे बिकॉज uh she has in general no uh, interest in like what the nuances of films are or something, something like that and but as a kid uh, you were the first director that she actually told me about oh. like okay this is uh, like uh, because we weren't allowed to watch dushman but for some reason i don't know why we were shown sangharsh very like ye dekho ye badi achhi film hai and if something like that used to happen and she used to be, she was always pointed out ki ye na tanuja chandra ki film hai और एंड कि इसमें बड़ी भयावह चीज़ें होती हैं एंड देर वॉज ऑलवेज दिस सेंस ऑफ आई डोंट नो दिस लाइक शी शी ऑलवेज लाइक शी टू पोट्रेट लाइक इट्स अ वेरी कूल थिंग लाइक शी ऑलमोस्ट एज एफ शी ओन डेड सो एंड शी कुडन बिलीव इट वेन शी वॉच सुर दैट इज अ फिल्म मेड बाई यू बट द मोमेंट दैट सीन केम वेर टीना इज लीविंग द इंस्टीट्यूट एंड शी इज लाइक मैं आपकी मैं आप नहीं बन सकती हूँ मैं आप नहीं बन सकती हूँ इसके मुझे हाँ ये नहीं कि फिल्म है so with that let's start with our uh, so uh, where are you today ma'am as a filmmaker like uh, let's start from the present and what you've done with hush hush and what is it that you're exploring now that's a nice very nice question to begin with uh, also because this year it's going to be it is uh, 25 years since my first release <laughs> dushman uh, which is amazing now that i think about it i mean it's I was telling somebody that I'm still standing at the crease, and uh, uh, he said to me that, and, and you're a practicing batsman. You're not somebody who's retired. <laughs> so, uh, so I would say to answer your question that uh, I feel very much like um, there's been a major turn I've taken into a certain kind of storytelling, and it's only there's a long sort of अभी बहुत लंबा रास्ता बाकी है तय करना. and there's just like my journey i almost sometimes feel like it's only just begun because you know dushman and sangarsh now if i watch it i often watch it like you know as if ki kisne banayi ye picture you know i don't feel you know i feel like it's somebody else who made it uh, and in fact 25 saal mein to log kafi badalte hain um so i think that uh, uh, it's just as well that my graph should uh, change and grow hopefully i do think although i have to say that those very films if they were released at a later date if not today then a few years ago they would have actually done better business <laughs> <laughs> than they did at the time because i think that at that time it was still an unusual thing to watch a uh, movies in which the heroine was the main character you know yeah. um so today my i've reached a point where um uh, i'm very sure and certain that this is what i love most which is to tell female stories and i want to keep uh, sort of expanding in and going in more and more in that direction because i've been saying this now for over 25 years that there needs to be many more female directors any more female heroine female led films uh, more female stories and stories belonging to what i love to use the phrase female genre um and 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 when i started out you could count on one hand the female directors yeah today it has increased but it has not become half the directors population <laughs> and that is what i want that's that's a really noble thought and and as you mentioned rightly so that um when we watch those films we saw an attempt of like at least now when we watch them we saw an attempt of breaking a certain kind of a mold yet 
in within the parameters of what mainstream cinema had to offer back then do you feel liberated now much more that you can like the things that you didn't do earlier perhaps you doing you getting to do them now yes i do actually and that's also because the style of storytelling has changed and i think that's good because i today would not be able to make uh those kinds of films although they are popular and you've seen sangar so many times yeah. but i do feel it's a little melodramatic <laughs> i feel that they are like a bit too commercial for me personally <laughs> and 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 uh, and i think that if today i was to do the same stories those stories are very relevant yeah. but i would certainly would narrate them in a different style with a different tone with a more realistic feel um at for that time they were a little i think too realistic maybe that's why uh, people want uh, they found them to be interesting and unusual but not exactly what they were looking for today with the advent of ott and with more female stories being told i think um, people are more used to that style of storytelling so um, so yeah so i do think that um, that 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 today i feel it's not such a great struggle to have a script in which there's a female heroine to get funding because otherwise funding though was next to impossible and you know you could keep on going from one producer to the next and to the next and to the next and you could also be going to actors from one to the next to the next to the next here i've heard so many noes in my life <laughs> uh, that it's amazing but um, today i feel that if you have a script jisme you know ek achhi unusual kahani hai you don't actually have to have a male hero anymore dushman mein i had to have a male hero sangharsh exactly. i had to have yeah. a male hero today one can do without that that is great kyunki male hero ko laoge to kuch to kahani phir aur kuch screen space deni padegi unko um, love story dalni hi padegi and the love story is completely <laughs> useless if you ask me <laughs> zaruri nahi ki har प्रोटेगनिस्ट की लाइफ में लव स्टोरी हो हो और अच्छे से उस कहानी में वीव हो जाए देन इट्स फाइन बट अदरवाइज इफ यूर ठू सोइंग इट यू नो देन आई थिंक दैट ऑनेस्टली इवन एन ऑडियंस दैट लव्स अ संजय दत्त और एन अक्षय कुमार इवन दैट ऑडियंस विल फील कि अरे यार मैं आई गो आउट एंड हैव अ स्मोक एंड स्पेशली वेन सॉन्ग्स बिगिन सो आई थिंक दैट वे आई फील there's more uh, scope yeah but you also like ye to bahut this was this was really unheard of like you had to have a sanjay dutt in the film and you had to have him on the poster but we didn't see him like till halfway into the film and all of those things all of those norms you did actually break and eventually bhale hi uh, professor raman verma is the one who's actually fighting lajja shankar but we do see reeth obray passing through that dark alley in the end and उस पर डिटेल में आएंगे पर बट टुडे यू फील कि आज अगर दुश्मन आप बनाते हैं तो यू डोंट नीड मेजर सूरज सिंह कैरेक्टर आई कुड हैव इज कैरेक्टर बट आई डोंट नीड टू हैव अ लव स्टोरी सो आई कुड कास्ट समवन हु इज़ नॉट अ बिग स्टार एंड आई कुड कास्ट यू नो अ गुड एक्टर वंडरफुल एक्टर एंड देन आई वुड हैव हिम बी एन एल आई हैव हिम बी समबडी हु admires her appreciates her but doesn't have to fight the fight for her you know and similarly in sangash that i think i could cast somebody who is not a big star um in order for it to find funding actually and in order for it to find an audience i could cast somebody who is a wonderful actor but not a big star and therefore i would do justice to the story because i would not have an unnecessary love story i would have something more of a friendship maybe more of a you know a, a kindred spirit more of a somebody ki ye ye insaan ye aadmi mujhe samajhta hai ye aadmi mera dard samajhta hai zaruri nahi ki mohabbat ho you know um so i think that uh, that allows us more flexibility more relationship uh, nuances um which is more modern i think you know it's not necessary to be but that was there love. but that was there in sangharsh right with the uh, aman verma's character the yes. amit and in uh, dushman as well uh, the i mean of course it it ends tragically yes. but it almost but you have but you always had those characters there which which right, like exactly what you mentioned which were those the dynamics were like that ki it's not exactly romantic it's semi in a, in a sense it's basically companionship yes 
so you always had that but i was uh, fortunate at that time to be able to put my finger on actors who would consider it okay to do those roles it's difficult to find male actors who will do a role in which their role is smaller than the female yeah. you know so uh, sanjay that because he's like he's kind of a, like a brave guy he'll do stuff he'll do it because he feels happy about it and he yeah. feels passionate about it he feels are yeah ye mazedar kahani chalo karte hain akshay kumar at that time was not a big star yeah. so so but and my heart was really set on him because i felt i felt there was a really wonderful actor there so one was able to somehow then also find funding um i'm wondering if it would be the same today i'm not sure i'm not sure actually yeah but of course akshay kumar is according to like it's just my opinion that's his career best performance thank you right. yeah okay, like, he often says that too yeah. he says that it's one of my uh, his dearest performances it is it is it's just mind blowing what you did there now speaking of what mr bhat imparts to his proteges uh the truth of one's cinema and the truth of one's life that has to reflect in his in in the cinema is something that we actually we've seen it in his films and you've been a part of that journey as well with zakham and tamanna and almost in a way you kind of took on that mantle of with with the way you made dushman or the way you made sangharsh how important like does your truth evolve over time has it evolved over time if you feel, like as a filmmaker if you have to find okay, okay this is this is my truth has in terms of my cinema this yes. is what i'm going to make how does it evolve over time yes and that's a really good question and definitely it evolves so yes my my really big fortune also has been to have a producer like uh, mahesh bhat who recognizes the the value in that kind of story even though it's an unusual story even though it might be a risky story to tell he's excited by taking risks so that's also a really great uh, sort of uh, twist of fate you know where where you can find a producer like that um and 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 i think that yes i i got lots of encouragement as well well as i found a fertile soil in which i could i could place my kind of storytelling which is which is you know raw and realistic and uh, and has 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 a kind of a inherent drama um could be dark at times you know um not necessarily happy ending i mean it took me a long time to reach the stage of kareeb kareeb single where i could do a romance <laughs> and that to a romcom because uh, honestly also because it's very difficult to make people laugh i think i think as a director i can see that it's in a way uh, it came more naturally to me too as well but it is a little simpler to um touch people or to or to make them feel a little shocked or to be be immersed in a drama as opposed to laugh making them laugh laughter baap re it's you know you can sometimes you can just have the characters laughing and nobody in the audience laughing so the thing is the characters shouldn't be laughing yeah. it's the audience that should find something funny what it is that they find funny you don't know so you can actually at least for me can put your finger on what makes people cry but to put your finger on what makes him laugh is very difficult uh, as a filmmaker um and as far as you know my truth is concerned my abiding passion right from the beginning and this is not some agenda based thing and this is not a slogan has been to tell stories about women just that it's only it, and it's not not reduced it's only increased yeah. so up till the point where in hashash there were six female leads yeah. <laughs> so so you know i feel that this is honestly a kind of a dream time for women directors and especially for women directors like me who are deeply interested uh, in talking about um, narratives about women because narratives about women have not been told it's as simple as that for centuries women have been living breathing being part such an essential part of society being such an essential part of the emotional quotient of a society and yet their stories have hardly found any place in 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 books in 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 um, on the screen on television and you know i find it really absurd when people say oh the trend now there's no trend it has not even come close to what it should be 10% mushkil se is the is is how much the presence of women on screen is it should be 50% just not even 
till it's not half i don't consider it an equal playing field at all so so my truth is uh, this absolute um, i'm just wedded to the idea of of telling stories about women possibly for women but not only for women and by women i have lots of women in my crew always you know yeah. i have a big female presence and that makes a big difference females have to be at the at, at the forefront telling stories and by the way which doesn't mean that men do not have an equal responsibility because the glass ceiling was not created by women it was created by men who should demolish it only women why why it should be men as well yeah um but i don't see any men leaping to that <laughs> to that kind of job and wanting that yes let's make it's like kabhi kabhi shayad producer ya director ko aur bahut acche director hai na kabhi kabhi kahani aa jati hai to bolte hain nice chalo banate it can't be this the attitude has to be we must we must mindfully make female stories only yeah. then will a change come about and they are very quick to say are फीमेल वाली औरतों की पिक्चरें नहीं चलती वेरी आई हर्ड दिस मेनी टाइम्स इन आई एम सेइंग हाउ कैन यू इवन रीच दैट डिसीजन विदाउट हैविंग प्रॉपर स्टेटिस्टिक्स हाउ कैन यू हैव प्रॉपर स्टेटिस्टिक्स इफ यू डोंट मेक अ सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ फिल्म्स ओनली व्हेन यू मेक से आउट ऑफ से 200 हिंदी फिल्म्स मेड इन बॉलीवुड 100 विद फीमेल स्टोरीज इफ ऑल 100 फ्लॉप देन आई विल एक्सेप्ट द स्टेटमेंट नॉट बिफोर दैट इफ 10 फ्लॉप यू आर टेलिंग मी दैट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट इज दैट what kind of business sense is that it's a rubbish business sense and even like as you mentioned about female like women directors telling women stories very few directors actually look at violence so closely the way you do and what is your relationship with violence and especially the kind of violence even sur yeah. in some sense is a very violent story it's 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 gaslighting it's 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 emotional violence in that sense and and yet there is a certain grace with which you approach even some of the some of the men that uh, men in your film like say we have the yogi character from karib karib single or aman aman verma's character from sangharsh uh, what is your relationship with violence per se if 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 you had to just kind of look at a filmography from the beginning up until now so the thing is that i actually um and this may not sound right because it's not the exact correct term to use but i really do enjoy uh portraying violence um in my stories on on screen um because i do think that there's a lot of violence in, in society in our culture um whether it's physical or whether it's emotional whether it's psychological and even in close intimate relationships there's a lot of unspoken violence and um and so but the thing is that i look at it very clearly which is that it's violence and it's not sexy in any way so even in dushman uh, which is you know i have seen i had seen before dushman uh, through my life many films which show this show rape in this lusty manner and lust is a human desire rape is pure simple violence there's nothing beautiful about it in the least so i was very sure that i'm not going to show it as something which is in any way sexy remotely sexy it is this man inflicting violence on this woman um and that is the way we shot it i was looking at this character of ashutosh rana with nothing but matlab i despised him and i felt that his need to impose himself on this woman was ugly was a crime pure and simple a crime you know um and if you go to uh, you know um, sangarsh of course it was uh, it was uh, this deluded desire to have an unending life which is a ridiculous thing because aur wo to humne dialogue mein bhi dal diya tha ki you know life means death no life can be lived without death <laughs> this is the natural cause of life so if you're trying to make your life everlasting it's not going to be possible therefore what you're doing is wrong therefore what you're doing is a crime even if it's in the name of god even if it's in the name of some spiritual thing or some thing in your heart that wants to live forever it's you can't you can't be forcing other people and you can't be sacrificing the lives of other people again plain and simple criminal activity you know um which then 
underwent a change in terms of my subsequent films uh, whether it was even ye zindagi ka safar which was one of the films that didn't do well at all uh, but sur which is a film very close to my heart i love that story it's a story that uh, and that also i mean you know the great thing about ott and satellite tv at the time and then now ott is this that your films are always there yeah if they weren't seen at the time of release aur ye mere sath bahut baar hua hai रिलीज के टाइम पे यू नो देर बी समाइम्स रिव्यूज विच आर नॉट सो ग्रेट एंड एंड आई अरे क्रिटिक्स फिल्म फिल्म बना के दिखाओ पहले सबसे पहले फिर फिर बात करते हैं बट गिविन दम ओके ठीक है दिस इज योर ओपिनियन योर पर्सनल ओपिनियन ऑफ वॉट अ स्टोरी इज एंड देन समटाइम्स ऑडियंस इज वुड वंडर कि क्या पिक्चर है पता नहीं अच्छी है कैसी है एंड बट ओवर टाइम दीज फिल्म हैव अटेंड ऑलमोस्ट the status of classics in a way yeah which is amazing to me <laughs> i never expected it and even sur um coming to the violence in sur uh, um very much a kind of patriarchal attitude uh, of ki i am the genius you are only my student of course i want you to be wonderful but not better than me, me yeah. you know so that to me is is the lie that the character of lucky ali is telling himself and actually telling other people that he is a, a teacher should not want that a teacher should want that the student will surpass them and the teacher should want that the student will become better than them but teachers don't often want them want that and he certainly didn't want that till he of course but to me it's finally a wonderful redemption story because he feels great regret yeah. at how he how he destroyed the talent of this young girl um uh, and then he wants to push her to uh, to succeed but again it's redeeming himself yeah. you know so he wants to do that so that which is fine uh, but he wants to do that so that he can face himself you know um so and coming to you know of course my most recent hashash which has again violence at the core of it yeah. uh so i do think that um I like to my stories to reflect my movies if even if they're not written by me um hash hash was written by somebody else so even if they're not written by me to reflect the violence that we have so normalized in society you know that it's okay for men to be uh, aggressive it's okay for men to uh, want to be stronger and more superior it's not okay in my eyes at all and i think that is the growth one also has where you start to see that things i might have thought and put in dushman and sangash i would now think differently because or the words or the dialogues that one uses i would want to change them because words have meaning words impact society your scenes in which you're say making fun of someone you think it's comedy but it impacts communities and society so that way i've always leave room a lot of room actually to grow and to give you a small example uh it's actually not a st- small example for the community but for example for the lgbtqia community you know if somebody tells me that my pronoun is them or they and for me it's a little bit of an inconvenience because i've always said he or she Yeah. But should I not put that effort? I should put that effort in my daily speech to say they or them because that's how they identify, right? Um, or the use of some words like lame, you know, when you say, "Oh, that's a lame joke," you think it's fine. I've begun to stop myself from using these kinds of words. because there is a community and a society which is genuinely physically challenged i cannot say i equate a joke and that and that word used for them right so i must stop you so i think it's very important for us to keep checking ourselves all the time and to keep reducing the use of that in our storytelling you know yeah. so so that kind of growth one does i think consistently every day speaking of sir actually that the whole redemption uh, arc that uh, that vikramaditya singh has uh, one of the most i like what i felt is is a very violent scene is actually a song in that film oh, sorry oh. 
Abhija, Abhija, I swear, Abhija. That whole song sequence. Yes. It is a scene within that song, and you did that a lot actually, and you were the very few people who actually did that, who who kind of uh, put songs as scenes. Yes. And uh, that scene is a very violent scene. That song, uh, what 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 was going on in her head that she's watching her song being sung by him, and he's taking full ownership of that, and and almost like gaslighting her into believing that you're no good. And the way you, what are your memories of shooting that thing, and how, what was like, how, at what stage did that situation come up in the script? Just please talk about that a little bit. So the music of Sur, yeah. uh, by now the very famous, <laughs> and I'm very happy that he's so famous, <laughs> M M Kirwani ji. Yeah. I mean, this was 2002, and you know, I just always, of course, felt about M M Kirwani that he's an absolute musical genius. Uh, one song after another in Sur was a pleasure to create. Yeah. Uh, I loved it, and Abhija was the best of the yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. So in Abhija, it was always clear that yeah, he was singing her song. He was singing the song um, that somebody else had composed. Somebody else had even thought of the words for it, and he was singing it without feeling the least bit guilty, yeah. <laughs> without feeling anything. Because why? He's a teacher. He has the right to feel as if he owns. Her talent. Why? Because he has instructed her. He has encouraged her, which he has. But why should somebody else's possible genius threaten you to the extent that you will steal or take away the credit from them? You know, mm-hmm. um, that song. And and yeah, to 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 address what you said, it was always very important to me that even in the song, some storytelling should happen. The narrative should move forward. Yeah. something should be happening and especially songs in which so much happens where actually a person who admires and loves this teacher suddenly is looking at a human being who's extremely selfish and mean you know uh, so that kind of major story arc to happen in a song is delicious it's lovely. damn good fun it's a lovely <laughs> song sequence to watch yeah uh, and especially because how almost the the scene uh, the way it's put together it's cut together it becomes independent of the lip sync format of doing that uh, even even the instruments that are being played uh, at one point there's and we're actually watching uh, harsh uh, harsh's uh, reaction and he's the only one in that room and everyone's just reacting to how beautiful the song is he's the only guy who knows that okay what's going on and she leaves the room uh, what was shooting that whole sequence like? How did you put that together? That okay, this is like right, and even in the terms of the performances, like you uh, mentioned that right, like now when you watch them, you feel they're a little melodramatic. But yet there is a sense of distance that you put yourself, even when there is melodrama, heightened melodrama. So it doesn't feel as uh, loud. It feels naturalistic. So please talk a little bit about that thing. Like how did you put together that situation and that song, shooting that? So the entire song, uh, yeah. Abhija was inside the recording studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so of course it limits us, you know. <laughs> As a filmmaker, there's basically this, the extent of this room. Yeah. That's all you have to shoot in. So what do you fall back on? You absolutely fall back on emotions and the performance. Uh, because the shots are going to, after a point, become a little repetitive. Although I tried not to make it repetitive, but they do because of the ne- because of the fact that we have nowhere to go. Um, but the performance can elevate it and make uh, make you forget that you are inside just one room, right? Uh, for me, by like by a large extent, performance is really the the thing that I love most in movies. Yeah, uh, you can see and that I, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I love working with actors. I'm very pushy, <laughs> and I really push them. I remember. My mantra on set is feel, feel, <laughs> and I remember one actor once told me, "I'm feeling, I can't feel anymore." <laughs> because they were like, because the thing is, I think, unless you're you you've worked for like decades and you're like a really high caliber actor, I think there's no shortcut to a great, honest, beautiful expression. You have to feel it. So and that's tiring for an actor. It's exhausting. It's a uh, Difficult. It's not easy at all. So, so I think I always tell them: feel, put yourself in a situation where you felt small. You know, put yourself in a place where you felt alone and you just felt betrayed. So, then if that actor 
makes that fictional sort of reality that 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 circle of 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 where you are because after some lots of bugbug i do with the actor after a lot of bugbug i have to step back behind the camera right yeah. then i have to leave it to them they are my instruments and they are the they are the medium through which i will i want to reach that place where you can watch and say oh my god i know how she feels and i know what he's doing um so i i just say feel so for me it was always that you know if i see an actor not doing anything but just wo mehsoos karna us moment ko to me that's amazing acting you can just be very still you can be standing without any movement you don't have to do all this haath ka movement you don't have to do aankhein aise aise kar rahi hai and all that i don't want any of that i think the body is acting so it's not ki you have to do too much ye sab ye sab in fact i tell them just feel it don't show me just feel it you know because and i tell this to actors all the time as well tell a good lie so if if i'm feeling something and i'm trying to hide it from the rest of the world i'm feeling shame and embarrassment people are listening to it i'm shocked at this man that he's singing my song now i'm just going to obviously not make it so obvious na wo hindi picture mein bahut obvious bhi kar dete hai you know ha ye wo so you know phir usme won't the or won't somebody in the audience get up and say what's going on there's some problem there's some issue thoda thoda they realize even the simon uh, character yeah. and even people in the in in the recording room uh, behind the 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 the, the uh, recording company people yeah. they feel something is off but they don't know what it is and they don't give a shit yeah. um so what i'm trying to say kehne ka matlab ye hai and this is what i keep i have from the day i started directing to now this is the thing that i harp on most is it has to be truthful that if there is pain inside the character's heart there has to be pain in the heart of the actor there is no shortcut to that you know so my journey has always been this um to keep pushing prodding and saying like come on come on come on you can do it and then you know sometimes that helplessness that feeling of oh my god i can't do it that is beautiful acting you know when and i love for example i love when there's a fumble i always tell an actor that when you fumble don't cut the shot when you fumble and you try to save the situation <laughs> tab maza aata you know because you see live in front of your eyes a human being trying to basically just navigate save their ass yeah. <laughs> yeah navigate through a very scary situation this is what human beings go through um that is what's beautiful acting to me um and you know if you just do that if you just stay with it and if you just keep going the person watching you will see what's happening their work will get elevated when they are looking at you with honesty which is why again when 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 it's over the shoulder shot and the actor or the actor is not even in the shot i tell them to give a very good cue that cue is what will make this person really act beautifully because acting is not ki main kya dialogue bol acting is wo dialogue ke beech mein jo silence hai usme main kya mehsoos kar rahi hu wo kis tarah se i'll 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 i'll, I'll express that is acting um so it's basically finally comes down to one thing that that forget there's a camera forget there are lights forget that there's a director just be that human being and feel the pain feel that excitement feel that love feel that happiness feel that destruction feel that anger whatever it is you're feeling actually feel it you're talking about uh, performances and just the actors feeling it and sometimes in your films uh, when a scene has a very heightened drama like where, where it's it's almost loud in a sense and usually jaisa aapne kaha tha hindi picture mein har cheez badi stated hoti hai har cheez bahut underlined hoti hai इस तरह के सिचुएशंस में नॉर्मली देर इज देर इज अ काइंड ऑफ लाइक एन अर्ज विद इन फिल्म मेकर्स टू जस्ट गो क्लोजर टेक अ शॉट टेक अ क्लोज अप और टेक अ ट्रैक इन और अ हाई स्पीड थिंग बट आई ऑफन नोटिस इन योर फिल्म्स पर्टिकुलरली दैट व्हेन देयर इज समथिंग लाइक इन दुश्मन एज वेल इफ देयर इज समथिंग रियली स्केरी गोइंग ऑन द कैमरा इज थोड़ा डिस्टेंट एंड इन संघर्ष द ग्रेटेस्ट एक्टिंग पीसेस दैट अक्षय कुमार सीन विद द प्रीति जिंटा लाइक at least thrice before the interval mm-hmm. um, all of those scenes the camera is at a distance we were just watching him just perform like from head to toe how uh, like 
is it something that you really consciously did back then that okay and if if, if it's actually loud in the scene i'll keep the camera a little away how what was that process like what was your shot division process like it's different for different films uh and by the way it has undergone quite a change not just mine but i think storytelling universally um uh, has gone i think a little close up an extreme close up yeah. uh, because also because you're watching on your small devices uh so your really supreme wide shots for example say like your really wide shots they may not have that same hold as they do on a big screen because you're watching it on this small little thing so you want to people i'm not sure i subscribe to this but people feel that the the big close up will make a person watching it um on a small like on your phone uh will hold the viewer more uh rather than being at a distance because it's not in a dark room with a big screen right there could be some truth to that um i love closes but what i think is that you know when say for example i remember even in sur when um when in the climax song um she starts to sing uh, the song on stage and i just wanted to stay a little wider stay away from lucky ali sitting in a jeep listening to it yeah. because to me the, the whole body expresses and especially uh, in an actor who may not be even the greatest actor by the way yeah, yeah. but just very simply has the ability to let their emotions show and not and not let the mind interfere with feeling emotions yeah. so what i'm trying to say and i always tell actors this the mind has no place in acting don't think are mera expression kaisa chal raha hai ओह हो मैंने डायलॉग ठीक बोला इमीडिएटली आई कैन मेक आउट आई जस्ट सेड तुम डायलॉग बोल रहे हो ना यू नो बिकॉज़ बिकॉज़ द आई स्टार्ट टू ग्लेज द आई स्टार्ट टू गो इनवर्ड वेयर एज इफ आई एम रिएक्टिंग ओनली टू यू आई लुक एट यू इट्स सिंपल यू आई जस्ट हैव टू लुक एट यू आई डोंट हैव टू एक्ट लाइक आई एम लुकिंग एट यू यू नो सो सो इन अदर वर्ड्स इन वाइड शॉट्स इफ द पर्सन इज जस्ट सिंपली फीलिंग अ सर्टेन इमोशन द होल बॉडी द सम very magical thing um i love back shots very much <laughs> i wonder why the hell i love them i feel that you know there's something in the neck that is 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 making me feel the person is feeling something or there's something in the way they're walking um i don't have to see their face all the time you know it's like why do i have to see the face all the time um uh, i have over time grown very bored of tracking shots <laughs> <laughs> and of you know we used to have those massive cranes back in the day uh, even of those where upar se aisa aisa karke camera also pass mein aata it's like me the filmmaker saying oh now i'm saying feel this <laughs> you know <laughs> i'd say leave it on the audience let the audience feel um i've also i have great trust in the director of photography as well i love like hashash in its entirety was a handheld shoot all seven episodes um because and i always feel that the dp i always encourage them to listen to their body so if the dp is holding the and looking at an actor and shooting and if the dp feels like moving a little ahead i want them to do that because it's not a thought out thing it's something that they just instinctively instinctively wanting to do and we don't they don't know what the shot might the frame might become yeah. if they go closer yeah. there's something there's the truth of the of the imperfection of life in a way yes. you know and i love that very much i like that excitement i don't think it's great to always have everything shot with some great perfection although i always do have a storyboard and i have properly i've thought out what the sequence is going to be like but i then love for the actors to innovate and the actors to take it somewhere else and then the camera to follow and have a kind of a natural feeling yeah. you know yeah. and i do think that um over time i think uh, this kind of filmmaking especially in kareeb kareeb single to because it was a travel log yeah. so i felt that that too needed to have lots of handheld needed to have lots of following them just being just sort of lingering yeah 
with them yeah. and not yahan se shot aur yahan se shot aur yahan se shot you know all the time yeah. um so it's you know filmmaking is an amazingly uh sort of unusual way of storytelling where it should not be boxed in there should not be one correct way of doing it i mean even i remember i used to have lots of because i've come from film school so yeah. the whole thing of you know um you know crossing the 180 degree line <laughs> and all that you know martin scorsese long back i remember when i was in film school we used to be told that so martin scorsese completely said let the 180 degree line or let the way is he looking left of camera right of camera let that go to hell i'm going to do this the way i want to and it does not come in the way of someone understanding the scene they didn't feel like are ye to jump kar li line yeah yeah the camera went uh, the first they were looking left of camera now they're looking again left of camera ye kuch gadbad ho gayi the minute your audience is thinking this then you know they're not involved in the scene you know <laughs> so so i think that i am a great advocate of experimenting and of trying out things even if they go wrong what is the bloody problem so what it went wrong it didn't work your story is still going well maybe that thing that you tried wasn't greatly successful but that's okay you tried something you made tried a change for the sake of change and tried something which was you know just cinematically thoda sa ajeeb why not who said it has to make perfect sense that the way you shoot has to make perfect sense according to the plot who said this i don't know who said well, maybe maybe uh, theorists have <laughs> said it <laughs> but uh, i remember watching um, a great series from many many years ago called the west wing yeah uh, it's a damn good aaron sorkin yeah yes yeah. what they did was simple they made characters for no reason <laughs> just walk all the time <laughs> so the characters talking 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 walking yeah. they're talking about whatever the hell but they're walking it just gave the the whole series a kind of a dynamism, dynamism. you know yeah and and how cool is that yeah now does it always have to be that why are these two not sitting in their office and talking there is that's perfectly logical they're sitting in, they should be sitting in their office and talking why can't they be walking you know why can't the camera be following them you know yeah. so i i think we should constantly be doing this Yeah. there's nothing it only makes something come alive in the frame and it only makes me the viewer just slightly lean towards it and feel something is exactly like yeah. off or unusual but that's it i'm saying for that purpose alone it's great thank you so much for saying that because <laughs> ab mera dop ko main ye sun kisne bola hai sun kisne bola hai sun <laughs> because th- that's what i picked up from your films actually because even uh, like me when i communicate to my dop i just like dar mat yeah that idea of the, what what you mentioned about going handheld and yeah. uh, that life like nature to it i actually picked up from your film and especially uh, sangharsh has been a great influence in terms <laughs> of my learning in that i mean you might call it whatever you want <laughs> it's your film <laughs> but uh, that naturalism that you spoke about like it's all it's also freeing up the actors in that sense liberating them because we we're watching a thriller like this is sangharsh specifically that i'm talking about watching a thriller and there are certain things that we expect from a thriller and okay that she's come to him for help and he'll be all we don't know what this guy is and then he starts saying random things and all of a sudden when she's leaving he starts doing bhangra रीत हो पूरा दिल्ली से आई है अंधेरे से टॉर्च से क्रांति करेंगी एंड तुम्हारे जैसों के लिए मेरी जिंदगी कोई एंड इज डांसिंग इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक व्हाट व्हाट वर दोज मोमेंट्स लाइक टू शूट लाइक थ्रू आउट द फिल्म देर वाज मल्टीपल मोमेंट्स वेर इट ऑलमोस्ट फेल्ट लाइक यू कॉन्ट स्टेज दिस इज इट जस्ट द ट्रस्ट दैट एन एक्टर हैज ऑन यू दैट ओके दे वॉन्ट बी मेड अ फूल आउट ऑफ वेल डूइंग इट बिकॉज एक्टर्स डू गेट लाइक लाइक एज यू मैंशन की दे गेट कॉन्शियस एंड इट शोज what was that like how did you communicate these moments to them so honestly <laughs> half my career is, has gone only in convincing people <laughs> that it's not going to make them look foolish and just go ahead with it and then sometimes i just do it myself and show it to them <laughs> so so you know the thing with acting is and acting is is about that it's all about emotional sort of nakedness that you're 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 you're, you're not scared to be foolish that is acting um and i think that that in fact 
I would have almost wanted him to go even crazier. <laughs> you know, it was a little bit what the, the actor always feels a little bit that let me not do overdo and may, let me because I always tell them, listen, if you're overdoing it, I'll bring it down. Yeah. But go ahead and just break all rules and do it now. Let's see what it looks like. It will free you. Yeah. And um, in that one, I would have wanted him to go a little more crazy actually, if you ask me. And I remember um, in Dushman when, uh, when after, um, I think after um, Ashutosh Rana's character Gokul dies, Kanya. yes, uh, she sort of falls on the floor and weeps loudly. Now, I really wanted her to wail. And she just wasn't able to convince herself or, or say that, I, she's just like, I feel stupid. She said, you show me, you know. I have no problem or hesitation. I just basically launched myself and threw myself on the floor and let out this cry. Everybody on the set, all the light people and all this froze. Mm -hmm. They just said, oh my God, what happened? Because I felt, what what is the problem? I have nothing to lose. I'll just do it as I think a person who's lost the love of their lives, which is their sister, and then spent this time and then had almost themselves also killed by this person to, to have this cathartic moment. What would they feel? What would they feel? So, I just did it and then she looked at me and she said, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> and she just did this and she, because, because the thing is that if you do it honestly, it's, it's a very simple thing. It's not some great theory I'm spouting. If you do it truthfully, whether you do it loud or soft or ugly or pretty, it will not look wrong. It's bound to look authentic because it's truthful. You have done it as a human being, you know. Yeah. So, how will it look wrong? So, that's all it takes. I'm saying the actor should, so that, that's what I tell the actors that, 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 and I think it's very important to have in the frame that kind of opposite in, in the frame where, you know, it's really bizarre and it's really, and I still do it. And the project that I just finished shooting last month, this very, very, this, this to me, the, one of the most exciting frames was this, wherein there's a character who's, who's feeling broken and sad and right behind them there's the revelry of like a festival yeah. um, because life goes on your pain is your own thing deal with it nobody <laughs> cares right so so to me that was a powerful shot and 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 those opposites those contradictions those feelings of that i will that that will the world never understand me it won't understand you that's a fact that to me is beautiful cinema and I always loved it and I continue to keep wanting to do it. I keep wanting to do the more bizarre thing, have a frame in which the main characters write, what is the problem? I've seen it, by the way, in Better Call Saul, which, <laughs> which uh, uh, is hailed as um, raising the standard of OTT television yeah. um, to the levels of cinema, right? The way it's made. That where the character's face is little at the bottom of the frame and there's empty space on the left and on the top and on the right. Yeah. Who says that's bad cinema? Who will say that? Why? Why? And and we are always like, no, 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 but this is an absurd film. Who said it's an absurd film? It looks fine to me. I'm saying, I think we should just follow our instinct more on these things. Yeah. Not be so, so bookish. And there's a person saying who's been from film school. Exactly. You know? so <laughs> And you did that in Karib Karib Single actually, that mm. the corner framing thing with um, and and in tele shots as well. It's supposed to be a wider. The frame is wide, but we we know that it's a it's a tele lens, so you're shooting from a distance, and you have uh, uh, Irfan Sab and uh, Parvati Ma'am and, and in a corner walking towards the camera. It's so it it looks in that sense very. It's almost as if you're giving us a picturesque view, like what the characters might be exploring there. And we are also exploring uh, it with them. And all of a sudden, we have this a very dogma style of uh, going like handheld within interior spaces. So, is all of that instinct based, or some of that is like you know you you kind of structuring that in your mind beforehand before shooting? And like, how much of it is purely instinct, and how much of it is just the craft and the bookish knowledge of it? If one has to say. So, of course, one must master the skill and the craft. Yeah. Uh, and know the rules before breaking them. I mean, yeah. you can't just be like, oh, I'm too cool for school type yeah. of thing. You know, I mean, you should know the skill. Yeah. Because skill is uh, only achieved through thousands and thousands of hours of work. <laughs> uh, and and it's like, 
a lot of effort that goes into every little thing of uh, filmmaking, you know. So I think that it's a mixture of both the things where you have um, a lot of preparation because preparation should be, you know, you can't say that, oh, I'll just see what I'll do at the time of shooting. No, you have to prepare fully. Yeah. And that preparation will make you, put you in a very strong position where then you can improvise and where then you can try something new. So even in Kareeb Kareeb Single, I mean, now they call it negative space negative and space. Yeah, <laughs> all space. those uh, uh, sexy sounding words and <laughs> phrases, uh, which only, which only, um, helps to legitimize what your heart is instinctively wanting to do, okay? Um, so one will often say that, oh, this filmmaker or so-and-so said this. <laughs> you do that to, uh, you know, I remember in Dushman, I mean, there are some favorite shots of mine through filmmaking of decades um, that I've wanted to replicate. So, uh, so in Mera Naam Joker of Raj Kapoor, there's a great shot of when um, uh, Raj Kapoor, like it's in, in the circus yeah. and he's on the trapeze. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's going from one end, he's swinging to another and his mother is watching. Yeah. Okay. And he goes to one because he's a joker. So he's almost not missing them. Yeah. Then he goes to one, misses it and falls. Yeah. Now, we, everybody knows there's a net there. Yeah. But his mother sees him fall and she just falls back like this and she dies. Yeah. Oh my God. What an electric shot. I was like, oh my God. So like that, there are a few shots that I've always wanted to do. <laughs> so in this one, yeah. um, when, when in that, in that um, mm. courtroom scene, yeah. when, when Ashutosh Rana's character kind of gets away with yeah. the, what he was saying uh, and he's acquitted. Uh, and and I and I told Kajol this. I said just and I told her that reference. Um, and she, I said you know just that, that your heart just falls and you just fall back like that and, and that's all I want. I mean simple, but it has to be done with great conviction and feeling. Um, she did it. I mean I, I thought it was a lovely moment. Of course not as great as the original. Um, so no. So कहने का मतलब ये कि कि that whole meeting point of an involved actor, your director of photography who's feeling the moment, your director who's kind of like, you know, made this whole atmosphere for you, that coming together, that is the magic. So it's not one person doing yeah, anything, yeah. you know, it's, it's the magic of all energies. And so I, on sets always, you know, I'll tell some light person sitting very far away, who's half asleep or who's so disconnected. Of course, he has bichara, his own mm -hmm. tensions to go through. But I just very often will tell them, when an actor is struggling, just give good vibes, everybody. Give good vibes. Send your good wishes and feel this. Be there. Something will happen. Some, some magic will come out, you know. Yeah. So, you know, very often they do. Sometimes they think I'm a crazy person. <laughs> what does it matter, right? Well, they think. I think it matters. Yeah. I think it absolutely matters. And, 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 and there's a, there's a, you know, sort of confidence that will come in the actor. And then they'll do something. Very often the actor will say, I don't know what, I'll say, my God, that was a good shot. They'll say, yeah, I don't know what we did. I said, that's why it's a good shot. <laughs> you don't know what you did. You weren't acting. You were behaving, you yeah. know. Um, so, so, I forget what your question was. <laughs> <laughs> I went to some. <laughs> uh, as a filmmaker, like at times, um, you, with specifically because, of course, I seem to be so much in love with Dushman and Sangharsh. So, uh, you've been very covertly political with those two films. Absolutely. Yeah. Not covertly, I'm absolutely political to my core. Okay, you can say it, right? Yes. Yes, it's okay. It's a very political film. Both are a very political film. Because both the antagonists are actually God-fearing men. And uh, in some sense, uh, I'm saying it now, I'm saying it. I'm saying it, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it. The idea of, and especially this time period film, Lajja Shankar is a Hindu fanatic. Gokul Pandit is not a devotee in that sense, but he's also a very religious man. And you you always give your own twist to whatever you're adapting. How did how how were those two characters created in the, in the sense that and what were you trying to 
say through those characters. Yes. The idea of Lajja Shankar Pandey came from a newspaper clipping that Mr. Mahesh Bhatt and I had both read and we loved the idea for that character which was about um, human sacrifice and somebody some act, somebody actually believing that believing in human sacrifice uh, thinking that you know they, they he'd been arrested by the police because he had actually uh, i can't remember at the point whether he had actually killed people or he was wanting to um, thinking that that was the way that sacrifice would make his own life more beautiful more fulfilling make his wishes come true make him successful and that kind of blind faith and superstition exists in our country exists in the world but exists a lot in our country and so it was against superstition clearly it was against blind faith um it was against this thought this idea that 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 uh, that you know um your life can improve by you uh, you know basically ending the life of somebody else and offering it to the gods you know yeah. that kind of thing um so 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 this was so it's a mixture of my own personal politics as well as uh, as well as what i read so mm-hmm. i think that it's best that stories come from real life because real life is unpredictable it's rich with 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 characters with stories with issues um i don't think that we need to actually invent stories they are all around us if only we were if if only we look and if we read if we hunt for stories if we experience them that's what should feature in our films you know so my personal politics is very clear that i feel every human being under the sun and every creature that is created in nature is in the eyes of nature as and in my eyes absolutely equal that any kind of discrimination any kind of uh, feeling of you know any kind of classism any kind of religious superior- superiority uh, to me is unjust and and just plain wrong so so i try to address in my stories social ills and try to bring about this feeling of and i'm not sure that i do it with as much success as i would like to um but that's always my attempt and 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 hopefully some day it will be immensely successful where um, where i can say that 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 the social this is what uh, this is a social ill especially against women also against communities certain communities in our country are discriminated against um and 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 this is wrong so i try to say that this is clearly this this is wrong and i speak my story speaks against it so my protagonist will be against it or my protagonist if is not against it will be made to realize that that was wrong yeah. you know so so that has always been my attempt and i think that if there is in our society in your life and my life something going on that is wrong and unjust it is my duty as a storyteller to put that as much as i can on screen you know and I, and that is my need and my wish to do it through my career yeah with of course with lajja shankar it's it, it the character like you were speaking against superstition with dushman you have a lecher who could have been anyone now how i read it was that the reason why it was important for him to be a god fearing shiv bhakt and uh, someone from the majoritarian group is to highlight the fact that this guy can be someone who you meet outside a temple this guy can be anyone now the extent of that thing where he says ki just i mean that's that, that's a terrifying shot where he says ki jisne chosh di ho dana bhi dega and all of that scene it just it still scares me um what was that a conscious decision that you guys made to make him like like this guy has to be someone who fears god and who worships god like that yeah i mean it's almost as if the scriptures have instructed <laughs> that this is your right to do this this is what you must do people use those as excuses all the time that yeah. that you know that this is our ordained uh, right in this world in society we've been told that god is speaking through us yeah. um, people do it in society all the time they don't have to be murderers and rapists by the way uh, people highly respected people highly regarded people will say that 
द वॉइस ऑफ गॉड इज स्पीकिंग थ्रू मी आई हैव अथॉरिटी आई बिलोंग टू अ पावरफुल पोजिशन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस देन यू नो एक्चुअली दैट 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 इज द थिंग ना यू आर सेंग दैट आई हैव बिन गिवन द अथॉरिटी टू बिहेव इन द सर्टन वे बिकॉज आई एम पावरफुल और आई एम रिच देर फोर आई कैन कुछ लो पुअर पीपल अंडर माई feet and and i have the right to do that this happens in society all the time so um in the case of by the way in the case of dushman um because postmen are traditionally very friendly and warm people yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of people who i mean there were people who objected to that um, and rightly so i mean postmen have been people who you know especially women also at home trust but that was the exact reason why as a for for me it was a good uh, thing to have as a villain because uh, it was somebody whom you are inclined to trust and but actually they are criminals terrible people yeah. so so um and this happens in life as well um as far as i mean lajja shankar pandey was concerned um, i can't remember the exact reason why we made him the way he was but it never occurred to us to make him any different in the sense although i do have to say that over the years it has been brought to my attention that um people from the trans community feel um very betrayed by that because they feel that they, and they very there's a lot of fear that lajja shankar pande uh, sort of provokes in people and so the fact that he has been thought by the way wrongly and i must correct that as far as viewers are concerned he was not a trans person he was not yeah yes. exactly yes, he, he was, was not he was yeah. a proper male yeah but using disguise yeah. and therefore even sari wearing and using that whole thing to uh, to get children whom he would sacrifice but because he was in a sari and all that and that has that is the image of say hijras yeah um people took for granted that he is a transgender person and therefore trans the trans community has been very uh, in, uh, sort of afflicted by it and yeah. felt uh, wronged yeah. so i must say it on record that it is not a trans person he is a yeah. male yeah. uh, who is a criminal and a liar and a deceitful person yeah. and 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 uh, a murderer yeah. um just using that for his own good um so 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 uh, it was also i think um now that you ask me i must think about it that what is the exact reason that he has those uh, sort of right wing tones about yeah. him it could be because of the person that we had read about was a god fearing um person which you know very oddly can be found a lot in uh, people which is that you know that they will feel this uh, sense of uh, purity and a sense of goodness inside them because they pray so much yeah and that that allows them to get away yeah. with whatever the heck they want to do yeah. as wrong as it might be so that was a, certainly a part of it um now having now seeing it in the present day situation um far be it for from me to create uh, villains in a community that is already oppressed so i will not use a minority community to 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 portray a criminal person because it matters what you show on screen True. so it's important for us to change the wrong perception of people uh, that is being created at present by countering it yeah i have a last couple of questions yes okay yeah. <laughs> so uh now uh, we were talking about like being political in the, in those films and with lajja shankar pande also i mean this is just imdb type ka question hai ki uh there's this moment where he's holding the child and he's singing wo subah kabhi to aayegi and with aman uh, professor aman verma's character he is a gangster he was a gangster now he's arrested but through him the things that you guys have spoken about in that film it's almost like this very anti establishment voice that is inside a jail i mean uh, back then i mean uh, i'm assuming i was i was a year old when that film came out <laughs> but i'm assuming that back then it might have been easier to get away with uh, stuff like that 
but uh, did you guys not at any point uh, think that okay let's not make him a gangster let let us make him uh, someone who he is representing here someone who has a voice someone who is an activist probably oppressed was that ever a thought to make him an activist uh, in a way he was he maybe was, not yeah. in the way activism today is uh, looked upon because there has been much more activism of this sort now yeah. than at that time yeah. yes at that time it was easier to get away with making somebody anti establishment on screen yeah. um so anti establishment being anti establishment is a kind of activism of course sure. and uh, so so in that sense he was but yes he, so he was a professor who um, because he and his call professor and yes, all yes. of yeah so his views yeah. were not allowed to um, sort of grow and become popular that that he kind of went into the darker side of society uh, because possibly he found that he was able to to speak the way or behave the way he wants to there more freely than he would as a professor as a professor you are supposed to and actually a professor should be saying all the Yeah. unusual uh, things that that break our preconceived notions about society right but uh, teachers increasingly are expected now to say the things that are safe yeah um, so 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 for us it was the classic idea of a professor who who um, says things that are anti establishment that wants to change i mean i've had professors in my life yeah who um, were the type who who would encourage uh, free thinking and who would encourage all sorts of thinking that that goes against traditional notions you know and i think it is a job of teachers to do that actually um so i think for, for uh, that was very much thought of that very much that you know that he would not be your um, sort of normal family person although now today if i would make it it might be very interesting to do that you know yeah. to just make him a person who works in some proper corporate yeah. and uh, but has this continuous is at continuous war uh, with the way society functions yeah. because frankly everything around us is terribly wrong if there isn't anything that is right <laughs> and and it makes no sense to not speak up about it as much as one can yeah. um so yes so this was our intention and it was our intention that that against him would be the antagonist of ashutosh rana who would be um believing in tradition and in those traditional ideas about religion but actually doing the worst things possible yeah. you know um so who's right then who's the person who's actually more moral you know yeah. the person who speaks against society but will do no wrong or the person who speaks highly about society or but will but is actually a big criminal you know so that was very much the heart of the conflict yeah to us and especially uh, watching what that same actor his politics and the films that he is doing now मतलब इफ एनी वन नॉट सीन संघर्ष आउट जेनुअन लाइक यूट्यूब पर देख लो विशेष फिल्म के चैनल पर लगातार वो सीन्स बहुत ज्यादा वायरल अब हो रहे हैं हमने तब डीवीडीज पे कर करके दिखा देते हो रहे हैं बहुत तगड़े व्यूज आते हैं उस पर यूट्यूब चैनल जो विशेष फिल्म का दे कट क्लिपिंग्स फ्रॉम संघर्ष फ्रॉम दुश्मन एंड ऑल ऑल दो फिल्म But and do you yeah. know the story about Ashutosh Rana? Because uh, I know that's a very popular story. You've you've actually said that in my college. Actually, in Whistling Woods, you came for a couple of single and how the casting happened. He actually yes. spoke to you as a woman. Yes. Yes. And uh, yeah. And he's so. he's just such a fine actor that were you to give him a role, and I did make a short film which I don't know now where it is, but in in which he was he was just a most beautiful, generous, lovely man character. Yeah. Nothing wrong. Nothing evil or negative about him at all, and he did it. as convincingly yeah so he's, it was he's a great actor yeah, yeah, yeah. lovely actor last question yes <laughs> i mean i could i can talk to you for hours and hours <laughs> but i can see that people around me are also going restless but yes. um uh, talk to us about the song mujhe raat din now that is a really beautiful song and i think uh, it's a very layered song the way what you show us on screen 
apart from again like what you've done uh, and you continue to do that the that the scene on screen becomes independent of the song somewhere that there's this girl who's just met and somewhat borderline been disturbed by this man and she's listening to a song over the phone and she's imagining that okay this guy might break into my house and uh, like just strangle me and then there's a sequence where she feels that okay he's just coming forward to her in a parking lot and she and he kisses her now talk to us a little bit about that whole sequence that whole song situation and how that came about what was the thought behind it so yeah like so music in my films has always had a really really important place and i and i love wonderful melodies um and for me it's always been a very simple uh process of choosing a tune for example yeah. um it's always been like you know if this tune just very very effortlessly mere dil ko chhuti hai then i like it you know then if somebody says are ye hit gana nahi hai i don't <laughs> care <laughs> because for me it's a really absurd way to <laughs> make a hit song by saying mujhe hit gana chahiye you know you can't go with the intention of making a hit song you have to just love it genuinely um and chances are that it will become a very popular song if you love it um and this has been the way it has happened in my career that the song that i've just immediately loved has become the hit um and so mujhe raat din was one of those um and um simple tune and and i think but really beautiful and again simple lyrics uh in lyrics also it's the thought behind it that that you know what is the thought that you want to say and then how simply can the lyrics convey that um so it was it was just this moment for me where um uh, the where her friend's character um is sort of uh, uh Uh, singing it or actually no it's the band that lives in front of their yeah. in front of our house that starts to sing it and then she kind of uh, uh is on the phone with uh, uh, with the aman varma character and, uh, and 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 then she kind of goes into her head now that's a kind of a it's a slight cliche of hindi cinema where you know you have imagination take over yeah. <laughs> but uh, which i'm not sure i would do now um but uh, it's it's one of the favorite ways one has uh, used in songs uh, one has put in songs so um but the idea was that he that 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 uh, akshay kumar's character is somebody who um who's left a chap on her yeah. you know um he's he's uh, disturbing and he's extremely intelligent and knowledgeable Not, not what you expect from somebody behind bars in in a jail cellar um and he's he's also um um touched her in some way and i think that you know it's it's like um it's like how you the idea being that you feel the winds or the or the ahat of romantic love before it even comes into your life There's something about it just being yeah. close by, you yeah. know. So that was the idea that that so so she's she it's somebody that she would traditionally be on the opposite side of, and she would have nothing to do with him, um, and yet she finds herself being drawn to him, um, not in the obvious way of two people being attracted to each other, but by her imagination telling her that there's something which she hasn't even thought of so it's something actually that is like i said that it's something in the distance but is there lingering somewhere mm-hmm. close by mm-hmm. so that was the idea ki he's 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 a uh, he she she she's in her house and she feels the presence she turns around and he's there yeah and then she looks at him and he goes away then she's she she just feels some the presence of him sitting somewhere feel some presence and he's sitting on that swing you know yeah. and he's not trying to do anything he's just hanging there yeah. so it was it was um uh, two people who are going to in some way in the future change each other's lives that was the whole thought of that yeah. song you know um and then yeah uh, one tries to be inventive and innovative <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
there was a, there was a really lovely situation and towards the end of that song where he's just he's in a phone booth or aage sab gayab hai sare and he just applauded and that's a lovely moment just a very cute and very intimate moment in that and uh, with this we come to the end of today's session Thank and you. Uh, thank you so much for thank talking you. to us, ma'am. It was a it was a great honor for me to talk to you because I've I've always uh, admired your work and I have looked up to you in ways that I can't even like. I borrow a lot from your films. I steal a lot from your films. <laughs> I mean, nice. uh, thank you, yeah. ma'am. Please, एक बारी वहाँ देख के बोल दीजिए. क्या बोलूँ? कि uh, white bird trails को like, share और subscribe करें. Hmm. White bird trails को like, subscribe और share करें.